Hi, I'm Matt. I work at the Children's Museum, and these past four days I set out to see if I could try to create a water clock like the one at the museum using only things I could find here at home. Ooh, but maybe I could just put this in. Well, maybe not. Uh, anyway, was I successful? Well, you'll just have to watch the videos each day to find out. Here's today's. As you can see, I've been collecting some stuff already from our basement and our garage and even our recycling bins that I thought I might be able to use. Uh, I've got some buckets here and pitchers, some cups, straws, a funnel, flower pots, milk jugs, some soda bottles, even some spice containers there. Uh, not that I want my water clock to smell like cumin, but basically just looking for containers that I thought water might be able to move between. Now, I gotta be honest with you folks, I do not have a plan for this. I have no idea if any of the stuff I found will be usable or if I'll even be able to create any sort of water clock at all, but that's kind of part of the fun of this type of project, right? Just figuring it out as you go, experimenting, trial and error, and hey, if I'm not able to figure out something that works, well, I'll at least have fun doing it and uh, yeah, work the brain a little bit. So, all right, time to get to it. I'll check back in with you soon. Hi again, everyone. Well, today I was experimenting with some stuff here in the bathtub, because that's a good place to experiment with water, right? So I was seeing how many of one container it takes to fit into another container. So like this little glass here, it takes about five of those to fill up one of these, and then it takes about seven or eight of one of these to fill up one of these milk jugs right here. and experimenting with some of the other containers as well. So I think that information is gonna come in really handy as I start to build my water clock. And I think I'm gonna be able to start to build tomorrow. So I'll see you then. That's today's video. Make sure you check out all the other ones too. And if you make a water clock using things you find at home, send us photos and updates using hashtag TCM at home. Well, that's all for now. Once again, I'm Matt Anderson, and thank you for joining us as we bring the Children's Museum to you at home.